Hey everybody, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Now right now you're looking at, on my phone, one of our previous Warhammer 40k painting videos. And the reason why I'm showing you this video right here on the screen, it's not just for the sake of inception, it's to let you guys know that yes, Warhammer 40k painting videos will be continuing very soon. Uh, right now it's just a matter of me actually putting together those Blood Angels that I showed you guys previously. And that's a little bit of work. So uh, I'm going to get around to it probably this week or next week finally, and then I'll start painting. And then finally, you'll hopefully see some videos very, very soon. But until then, I've actually got something else I wanted to show you guys, so consider this a little bit of a show-and-tell video this time. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way now. So uh, as you guys know, Toy Fair 2019 just happened not that long ago, and uh, of course I was walking around, I met all sorts of people, and one of the folks I ran into was the fine people from WizKids. Now WizKids, you know, makes a lot of mini-gaming stuff, a lot of tabletop gaming. They do Star Trek, they do Pathfinder, Dungeons & Dragons, all sorts of other things as well. And uh, they were kind enough to actually give me a few items to paint, because I mentioned that I'm doing this whole painting series on YouTube. So yeah, they, they were really cool, and they offered to let me just take home a bunch, because they don't want to bring the stuff home on the final day of Toy Fair. So I wanted to go and show you guys some of what I picked up that day. So we're going to start off with some of the items they have from Star Trek Attack Wing, and I've got some really cool things here. So they gave me four ships to take home, and I'll lay them out right here. And they're all different uh, different types, essentially, which is really exciting. So over here, we've got ourselves an Intrepid-class ship, which is basically the USSS Voyager. We've got a Didyrix class, which is the Romulan uh, Warbird, I believe it is. I always get it confused if it's the Bird of Prey or Warbird, but I'm pretty sure it's a Warbird. Uh, I've got myself an Enterprise E, which is the Sovereign class. And then finally, one of my favorites, the Defiant class. In this case, it pretty much is going to be the Defiant. So uh, this is part of their Attack Wing game, which I have not played, but I've seen the miniatures. And I'm um, very excited to finally have these because, well, you know, I, I like Star Trek a lot. And so it makes sense we're going to do this. And what's cool about this, too, is that it's also a really big departure from everything I painted at all, really, because all I've done so far to date has been Warhammer 40k. So now I'm going to be jumping into spaceships, which is really nuts. And what I like about these guys, too, is that they all come with sticker packs. Or I guess decals is the more accurate term. You can see here they've got all sorts of really cool battle damage and other stuff in there. I don't quite know what everything is yet, but we're going to find out together when I open these up. So that's going to be really fun. That's going to be happening at some point soon when I take a break from Warhammer things, which is probably not a bad idea. So besides that, you guys might know WizKids because they do a lot of stuff from Pathfinder. So I've got three things from their deep cuts and uh, their Pathfinder line here. So over here I've got myself a grizzly bear, which is really cool. I've got this orc on a dire wolf, which is a little bit larger and very fun. And this just came out, which is a torture rack. Uh, this is really cool, I think, because I have just wanted to do more things that aren't humans or, or creatures, I guess. I want to try doing some items, I guess you could call them. So yeah, I've got a torture rack, and that's going to be a lot of fun to paint and a nice challenge. And uh, I'm really excited to do the grizzly bear, just to see what kind of texture I can do and learn how to paint fur, and especially to go ahead and paint this dire wolf. And what I liked about this model, too, is that it's larger. So that means I've got some more surface area to work with. It's got a nice base. Uh, there's definitely a lot of fun I can have with this piece here. And again, really great sculpt. And then finally, the other thing I got was from their Dungeons & Dragons line. So I got a whole bunch of Dungeons & Dragons guys here from Nalzer's Marvelous Miniatures. And I've got myself a Tabaxi Rogue, some Goliath Fighters, some Yuan T Malisans, that's just fun to say, and some Dragonborn Fighters. So these are all, again, not Space Marines, which will be fun to do. Because, uh, you know, I feel like after a while, as much as I like the Warhammer 40k stuff, it gets a little boring painting the same thing again and again. I think it's going to be a good idea for me to move on to something different for a little bit. Uh, and these guys all have such different textures compared to the Warhammer 40k world especially. And uh, something else I didn't mention yet too, which is very important, is that they're all primed already. They're all primed out of the box, so I don't have to prime them. They're just going to save me a lot of time. And, you know, priming by hand is, is a process. And if you, don't do, if you do it poorly, you're going to get ugly looking miniatures. So with these guys already primed, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about messing anything up. They're just good to go. Now, in addition to those minis, I also got two others. I got myself a Beholder, which is really cool looking. I've, I've always wanted one of these guys. They're just fun to look at. They remind me of that Doom monster. That's basically what they are, is the Doom creature. But best of all, because of the generosity from WizKids, I got myself a real big boy over here. I got myself a Treant. So yeah, it's basically the D&D version of Groot, if you will. <laughs> you guys might know it from Lord of the Rings as well, under a different name, which is the Ents. But this is a really nice big miniature, so it's even kind of funny calling it a miniature, but that's what it is at the end of the day. It's still a mini, so I'm going to have a lot of fun painting this. And, and as you can see, just to kind of show you guys a little bit of everything I got from WizKids, it's a nice mix of things. It's a nice mix of creatures, of items, spaceships, all sorts of things. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting started with some of these guys. And yeah, you will see more 
painting very soon on the channel. Just some other stuff has gotten in the way and there's a lot of other videos to make. But do not worry because I have not given up on my painting journey. There's still much to be done as you can see here. After all, is that not the curse of the model miniature painter is having more stuff than you actually can paint? So thanks for sticking around you guys. There's going to be a lot more painting happening very soon on this channel. So stick around. Make sure you are subscribed. You can get all the updates on us when we go ahead and paint more of these dudes. And until then, I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today. We'll see you guys soon. We got some work to do.